Microsoft have just announced big price increases for Microsoft 365 subscriptions. Here in Australia, it's 29% on the family bundle and 45% on the individual subscriptions. This is in fact an upsell. What they are doing is signing you up to the package that includes AI. You can avoid these price increases in the following way. Log into your Microsoft account at account.microsoft.com and then click on subscriptions. On the subscriptions page for the subscription in question, click on manage. And then all we need to do is actually threaten to cancel our subscription. If we hit cancel subscription, you will see that they now have a couple of plans there. One is the one that you are currently on where they have just whacked all the AI stuff on top and are going to bill you more. And one is the classic plan, which is all the things that you had already. So you just need to click switch that plan and you will move over to the plan at the price that it was. It is important to note that you will lose the co-pilot and some of those AI features. Although for many people, these are either superfluous, they're things that people aren't using, or they're just not very good. Many people will be preferring to use things like Midjourney for their images or Claude or directly from ChatGPT rather than the Microsoft Copilot version for their writing. There's a lot of better options out there for a lot of these things. And whilst they aren't embedded into the Microsoft tools, for many consumers, they may just rather want to save that 40 or $50 and continue using other AI apps instead, rather than having this change thrust upon them. I do think it was a bit of a dirty move by Microsoft, where for the past six months, they've been giving out little demos of these AI tools and saying, here's a trial of Copilot, here's a trial of this, here's another little AI thing. Aren't we great? Aren't we nice? We're giving you these free tools. And then in fact, they have whacked us with pretty substantial price increases for these tools that you didn't necessarily ask for. For me personally, I'm a little bit torn because I do do a lot of AI work. I don't necessarily use a lot of the Microsoft tools, but just through this YouTube channel, it is going to be important for me to have access to them to be able to continue to bring you videos, show you updates, things like that. So I'm a little bit torn. I might keep a subscription for that. I suspect though for a number of you, it will be a very clear cut decision of keeping or abandoning, possibly together with just a little bit more ill feeling towards Microsoft. So that's the video for today. I hope it was helpful in seeing how you can avoid this price increase on your Microsoft 365 subscription. I'll be back really soon with more videos on AI stats, research and random stuff.